Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have sat down and just talk to you guys like this because the past like six weeks, it's been all about like, you know, Jacqueline's journey and like me trying to get my shit together in life. And I'm taking a little break from that here on YouTube. Not a big one, a little one. I've got big plans for it, but just a little one. But I am here with, as you know, my annual 2021 winter must haves and gift guide. Last year, I did not get it up, you guys, until one week before Christmas. That's so pathetic. I figured this year, let's jump on top of it. Black Friday is coming up in just a few days. Cyber Monday, it's all happening. So I wanted to get up for you guys right now. So these are things, suggestions that you can buy for your family, your friends. You've got all different price points in here from extremely inexpensive to some pricey items. Also, these are ideas for yourself. Things you might wanna buy for yourself, things that you might wanna buy, you know, put on your Christmas list. I personally, I believe in buying myself Christmas presents. That's just who I am. Oh, get that hair back. I typically buy myself a birthday present and a Christmas present every single year, just because I know what I want and I deserve it. I literally have things from like kitchen gadgets to like random electronics to shoes to slippers to jackets to blanket. I have everything, literally like something you can buy your man and something that you can buy your great grandma. Every single product I'm gonna talk about in this video, no matter what it is, I have used and I love. And I say that because it's so important to me because sometimes, you know when you're just like scrolling and you'll see like bloggers posting then you know like Christmas gift ideas, which is so helpful and useful, but you also don't know because they haven't necessarily tried it. It's just like ideas, you know what I'm saying? and then it'll come in the mail and you'll be like, it doesn't really work. That's normal life, it's all good. But I love it when I see people who are like, I love this and here's why and I've actually used it. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what you're gonna get out of it, they can describe it to you. So everything in this video I have used, I love and I'm recommending it to not only you, but my friends and family. As always, you guys, every single thing that I talk about in this entire video will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. So you don't have to watch this video if you don't want to, you can just scroll through and see all the links that I have. The majority of the links are gonna be affiliate links as always, meaning that if you guys click on those links and you shop, I will get a small percent of commission, which as always, I am so thankful and so grateful for. So you can go ahead and scroll down there and I don't have to bore you. Also, I slightly resemble The Rock meets my dog Georgie. Like Shih Tzu hair in this outfit. Don't you see the resemblance? I see the resemblance. Let's start off with the ugliest thing that I have to talk to you guys about today, but one of the most necessary, and it is these shoes right here. Oh my God. When my mom saw me post these, she was like, are you my daughter? These are the most hideous shoes I've ever seen, but you guys, listen up. They're like $20, I believe, on Amazon, maybe a, a few dollars less, maybe a few dollars more around there. They come in so many different colors, like 15 different colors. These right here, just like the light gray. And I'm not kidding, they're the most comfortable shoe you will ever wear. I wear them everywhere. I wear them out of the house, I wear them in the house. Yeah, I'm just wearing literally pajama pants right now. Like this is all, this is all a facade, all right? I, I do this just for you guys, okay? You should feel very special, but re in reality, this is, this is my life. I'm not even wearing a bra, okay? It's all smoke and mirrors. These right here are the most comfortable shoes in the world. And when you walk, it feels like you're walking on like a thick cloud. They're so supportive. They will not give you blisters. They're so comfy. They're so cozy. And I'm starting to see more and more girls wear them around Tampa. And I'm like, yes, bitch, I'm into it. They're amazing. You can wear them with socks, wear them alone. I'm telling you, they're gonna be one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes you've ever worn in your entire life. Yes, they're not that cute, but they're so comfortable. I typically go between a size eight to eight and a half. These, a size eight fit me perfect. So if you're between sizes, go a size down. That's what I would suggest. I'm telling you, no one's gonna regret this purchase. I own a pair of Crocs. I had them for my mom, because my mom, once again, is like, what's wrong with you? She's like old school, you know? She's a little chuggy, but that's okay. We accept we accept the chugginess from our moms, right? But not from ourselves. We gotta hold each other accountable. No chugginess happening here. But these are way more comfortable than Crocs ever, ever could be. These are... These are it. All right, so sticking to footwear and feet, okay? These right here, ah, these are the Skims slippers. You guys, I am obsessed with these slippers and I am so picky. So let me tell you the backstory really quick. I own a pair of Louis Vuitton slippers I've owned for two years. I wear them like crazy. I've worn them so much. Like this part right here, like on the sole, is completely 100% gone. Like they're not even comfortable anymore, but I still like continue to wear them because I was on the search for an open toe, cozy, comfortable slipper and I found them. So this right here is from Skims. They're nice and loose, but they're not too loose so they don't fall off your foot. I've had these now for probably a solid 
six months, maybe even more. I now have two pairs. I have a pair here at my house and I also have a pair at my office. So when I walk in my office, I kick off my shoes and I put on my slippers and I walk around my office like that because they are so cozy. So these are definitely slippers that are made for like houseware and also made for people probably in a warmer climate because your toes do stick out, which I love because sometimes when I wear like slippers that fully cover my foot, I know it sounds weird, but can it almost make me feel kind of like claustrophobic because it's like my entire foot is like covered in like a sleeping bag and it feels weird and my feet get too hot and a little sweaty. Anyways, these right here, telling you I'm so picky and these are bomb, they're so comfortable. All right, so let's talk about actual shoes. I have two pairs of shoes. These are just like so popping right now and it's at that point where I feel like if you're like between like 16 and like 25, maybe 30, if you don't have them, it's like weird at this point, which is so stupid, but it's just kind of like the truth. So these right here, these are my personal Air Force ones. These are my Sages, okay? So there's all different kinds of Air Forces and this is called the Sage right here. Mine are dirty, mine have been bent to crap. People always talk like shit when they see me on like my Instagram. Like if I like, if it crinkles like this, they're like the wrinkles. I'm like, oh, oops, I didn't know that was a thing. Anyways, these right here are my favorites because they have like a little platform on them and then they also have like that that little silver tag in the front of them. And what it comes down to is you guys, they look cute with everything. Athleisure, if you're gonna wear like leggings, if they look cute for like a brunch moment, you know, if you're gonna wear like a little dress, a little denim jacket, they just look cute with everything and they're so comfortable. They're so padded on the inside. They're easy to clean. The way I clean these, you guys, you'd be like, wow. I just like throw them in like a bucket of bleach and I'm like, you're good to go. But I've had these for so long. I've had them for like two years and I love them. Definitely something that is a must have for me. If you don't own them, you will not regret them. They will be your go-to sneaker. Last shoe, Nike Dunks. All right, so I just recently got introduced to these. Long story short, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of long stories. I'm gonna keep short in this video. I have an assistant, shout out to you, Maddie. Thank you for keeping me non-chuggy at all times. She's 22 years old and I literally rely on her to make sure that I am like staying hip and staying young and staying fresh. I feel like I'm already that mom and mean girls who's like, oh, you girls keep me young. That's me, sadly, at this point, and I'm only 30. One, I'm 31. Oh God, I look like Dwayne Johnson, I hate it. Anyways, she is the one who introduced me to the Nike Dunks. They're so cute. Everybody has been wearing them recently. Like you're starting to see them like more and more, like from all the celebrities, and they are just so stinking cute. They come in a ton of different colors. They're not that easy to get your hands on though. I will say it was kind of difficult for me to find these, so I will link them for you. I have actually only worn these around my house one time because I'm kind of weird like that. I want to make sure that they're comfortable before I leave. So I haven't worn them out like in public. I've only worn them around my house. You can tell like it's not even fully tied properly, but they were so, 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 so comfortable when I was wearing them around. So these right here, I also want to get them like the gray color, like the cream color. They're just so cute and so comfortable and so trendy and not chuggy at all. Okay, so let's get into like some gadgets. I don't have many. I try to keep it a little bit more simple this year. Last year, I really went in, I went hard and I felt like it was almost a little overwhelming for me and my viewers. I was like, this is a lot. So I try to keep it just to like absolute necessary for me personally, things that I'm like really die hard for right now. So the first one, I have talked about this so much and every time I talk about it, it sells out on Amazon because I feel like anybody who is vain, anyone who is a narcissist, anyone who's obsessed with themselves, any blogger, any influencer needs this in their life. You turn it on like so. It can do any color in the entire world. It can also go from warm to cool and then you can just like dial it and turn it super bright up and down right here so you can see like, bitch, I no longer take photos without this. Like it doesn't matter. We were on set, literally on set shooting a campaign, full on production. And I was like, get the aperture light. Are you kidding me? This just, it's a game changer. And it also has an app on your phone that you can download. You can do everything remotely. So you can like set it up like across the room if you need to. You can have two of them. They're also magnetic on the back. So it sticks to anything that's magnetic. Like, oh, I'm not gonna do it. You guys can't see it. But it sticks to anything that's magnetic. So you can just like put it right there on any pole and you can just have the app on your phone. You can make it any color you want. Pink, purple, blue, light pink, dark pink. It doesn't matter. It's just such a nifty little gadget. And then if you want it really, really bright, it does like, See, like right there, that's super bright, right? But you can also get it like intense and you can just take this off right here and take it from that. Like, are you kidding? It's at the point where if I didn't have this, I'd be like, I don't wanna film anymore. I don't wanna do anything anymore. This is just, it's so good. Just adds a little glow. I'm into it. Okay, next gadget. <sighs> Jordan got this for me and I'm like, Life is changed. It's literally just a vanity mirror for your car. So let's talk about it, right? You do your makeup, you spend all that time, you get into your car, you look in your mirror, and you're like, oh dear God, who is that? It's just, it's a bad situation. The mirrors suck, they're tiny, the light is ass. It's just, it's all bad. It, definitely cars are not thinking about the bad bitches in the world who have to like really get their makeup on in the car. It is so simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. You strap this around your car visor right there, okay? You don't see any of this hanging down, like it all tucks in. And then when you pull it down, this is all you have. You have a full on mirror, this mirror is so crystal clear and on top of it, it has lights, like on and off. And then 
different tones as well, like super bright, warm, and cool. It's that simple. I believe this is less than $20 on Amazon, and now I have it in one of my cars, and when I take the other one, I'm like, I gotta get it for this one too, because I, I'm, I sound like a spoiled bitch. Maybe I am. <laughs> this is so good though, like it, like legit. Ooh, my highlight's looking real good. I'm into it. Okay, so this right here is another gadget that is definitely for anybody who films anything, TikToks or reels or vlogs or whatever it might be. If you are someone who is filming yourself, this is amazing. So I actually take this light right here, you put it on and then you take your phone and you just put that right in here. And then your phone just sits right in there. And then you can set this anywhere you want. You can adjust it, you can angle it because this just moves really well. You can also turn it around super easy. You screw this off and screw it on here so you can shoot vertically or horizontally and then you have your stand you have your camera you have your light and it's just it's amazing this is what i use to film a lot of my vlogs with for jacqueline's journey when i would think like oh yeah crap grab the light you know it's just it's so useful it's so easy because even though I've been on YouTube for 10 years, you would think that I'm like better at dealing with like gadgets and electronics. You guys, I'm really not. Like I'm just a girl who loves makeup and I love beauty, but when it comes to figuring this stuff out, it's so stressful for me and I'm just like, oh, I need help. And this is just like the easiest little gadget ever where it's like, it's a button, it's an app, it's just simple. So if you're someone who is online, Filming yourself, I highly recommend those two things. They're amazing. Okay, so every single year, I always talk about candles because candles are just a foolproof gift, no matter what it is. If it's someone's birthday, if it's a housewarming party, if they had a baby, Christmas, it doesn't matter. Candles, it's always a really nice gesture and it's not too expensive, right? Obviously, we love our Bath & Body Works candles, always. And they always have a ton of deals around this time of year, so wait and stock up on your winter candles. I personally have a few scents that are my absolute go-to. Every year, number one, number one is always winter. I can't even smell that without having an orgasm. Like I'm on the brink of it. I'm just like, ah, like it is so Christmassy. It just smells like I'm just walking through like a frozen meadow, just surrounded by pine trees. And there's some carolers soft in the distance, you know, not too loud, not obnoxious. It's a little quiet because the snow is just falling so hard. It's got like a chill, but also like no breeze. And you're just kind of silently with like that far off caroling. That's what this candle does to me. Next is under the Christmas tree. This one is very similar in the sense that it smells like a Christmas tree, but it's a little masculine, but not too masculine because I don't love like a masculine scent, like a patchouli or like cedar wood. I'm like, no thanks. But I also don't like sweet. This one is like the perfect combination of like pine trees, but also kind of like a sexy man. My third favorite is Merry Cookie. I feel like this candle is a really good place to start if you're kind of like shopping online and you don't know which one to get. Merry Cookie is the perfect amount of sweetness. It smells like a Christmas cookie, but it also smells fresh, kind of like vanilla, but like airy at the same time, Christmassy, and it's so good. I love burning this with those other two. Like I'll put this in one room and those in the other room and they really complement each other. It just smells like a Christmas bakery. Okay, last but not least, as far as candles go, this is a brand that I am actually selling on my website, I'm in it.com, which is so exciting that I got to partner up with them. It's a really popular brand. I'm actually shocked by how well they're selling on my website, just because I didn't know if people were gonna be like really into them like I am. It is a soy-based candle, so I hate to say it, it's better for the environment, it's better for your dogs than a typical candle, because this is soy, which it does make it like a higher price point, but it also burns for a very long time, and you guys, I cannot believe that these two wicks are able to put out the amount of scent. So in my office, one of my employees, Megan, she always has one of these burning in her office, okay? So she has like her own separate office at the very end of the hall with her door closed. You can still smell this in the conference room, in my office, at the front door, everywhere. It's like the most potent candle, it's amazing. And my favorite scent right now, this is the Cider and Mold Spices. It's so perfect for this time of year. It's a very good candle to transition, like fall, winter vibes, because it doesn't smell like a straight up Christmas tree, but it also doesn't smell like a pumpkin. It smells almost like a like a like a hot toddy in the cold weather. I'm feeling very much like sitting by the hot tub vibes. Like there's definitely snow on the ground. Mm -hmm. Got like a touch of cinnamon, like a cinnamon broom is also just like sprinkled in there. Like a little fireball, a little cinnamon. All right, now I want to drink. Yum, bomb. Okay, so last but not least in this category, you guys went nuts for this when I posted this on my Insta story. So this is a mini fire pit. I will post like a quick little video for you right here of like my TikTok that I made recently where I'm using this. All you do is you just pour rubbing alcohol in it, you fill it up, and then all you do is just take a lighter, you light it, and it turns into a full on fire pit. You can roast marshmallows over it and make s'mores. You can use it just for an aesthetic in your room. And then when you wanna put it out, you can take this and just literally push it on top and snuff it out and then it'll go out. Or you can wait for it to burn out. It lasts for about 
45 minutes to an hour. It's such an aesthetic. It comes in a couple of different colors. I got this gray one. It's such a vibe, especially this time of year. I have one on my back porch, like surrounded like by my Christmas trees and my little outdoor swing. So it's like, mm, cute winter. I also have one in my bedroom that I light at night when I'm in here like watching a movie as I wind down. It's just super relaxing. Please don't walk away from it or leave it by a curtain because if you burn your house down, you are not coming for me. I am protecting myself right now. All right, it's time to do a little shameless plug for myself <laughs> because I have been doing so much recently, you guys. I mean, can you even believe it? For a girl that deals with so much self-doubt, anxiety, and depression, you would not think that I am doing everything that I'm doing right now. I'm trying my hardest. It's kind of putting me in a place. A lot of you have kept up with, you know, the Jacqueline's Journey vlog, so you already know what I'm talking about, but wow, I'm doing a lot. So let's talk about some of the things that I'm doing because there's so many great deals coming up in the next couple of weeks with stuff that I've produced, and I want to make sure you guys, like, see that, and I get that in front of your face. So the first thing right here is my bundle that I did with my kitsch. You guys know I have talked about this brand for well over a year at this point. They have the most amazing hair scrunchies. They have the most adorable like hair accessories and pieces. They have silk pillowcases, sleep masks, all sorts of stuff. They're such a great brand. They reached out to me in just the nicest way and they're just like, hey, like wanna create a box for the holidays? And I was like, absolutely. Like there's no question. So I have a day night and a night box. The night box right here is literally just a silk pillowcase, the most comfortable eye mask in the entire world. It literally feels like you have like a giant silk pillow on your your face. And then two of the satin pillow scrunchies. These scrunchies are gigantic. It's the scrunchie that I use whenever I have like this giant bun right here. People are always asking me what I use and it's this one right here. Also, if you guys are not interested in the actual boxes and you just want to like get the scrunchie, for instance, you can buy that and you can use code Jacqueline in all caps and that'll save you 20% off. So not only did they do this bundle with me, but they also offered my subscribers 20% off of anything else on their website in case you didn't want the whole bundle. You don't want to commit to all the items, you know? And the day box right here, we have some headbands. We have another like thin scrunchies that are super cute. This one right here, you guys know, I have been wearing this scrunchie for so long. I have so many of them. It's one of my absolute favorites because it adds so much texture in your hair. It's so cute. And then we have this little gold clip right here. Once again, I wear it all the time. And then these guys, these huge claw hips clips right here that are very trendy. So that's my day box and my night box. So go check it out. 20% off code Jacqueline if you don't want to get the entire bundle. Otherwise, all those bundles are already completely discounted for you. Okay, so I have two hair items that I want to talk about, one of which I actually use today, and I feel like so many people own this, but I'm still going to talk about it. It's super inexpensive. I think it was like $15. I got mine on Amazon. A lot of times they're sold at Target, and it's the Bedhead Wave Artist. It's so easy to use, you guys. Like, honestly, you just take like a huge chunk of hair, you just like clamp, 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 and that's it. And it's just very like mermaid vibes and so easy. I got inspired to do this from my friend Christian. I saw her on Instagram wearing her hair like this, and I'm like, all right, this is like foolproof, like half up, half down, throw your hair up, just go ahead and crimp this little section and you're you're good to go. It's just like easy and it looks like you tried, although I try way harder just to do like a simple cute looking ponytail than I did to do this. This was so fast and easy. And again, it's inexpensive and something that I have been using for the past maybe two weeks. I'm obsessed. Another hair product, I just got this recently. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like the new Revlon like hot brush and it's like made to give your hair a volume and it's so much better than the original. I bought the original like a year ago and I was kind of like, mm, this isn't really doing it. I don't know what these people are talking about online. This one is so good. So the way I use it personally is I do not use it to dry my hair. I am so lazy, you guys. When I shower and I wash my hair, I only wash my hair like once a week. I let it air dry for like 45 minutes and then I just dump my hair upside down with a blow dryer. and that's that's all I do, honestly. So then like the next day, I will go in, I'll put like a little dry shampoo in my roots, take this and literally just, like lift your hair up. It's kind of like round out at the roots. It'll give you so much volume. It's so bomb. Again, it's not that expensive either. I think these are on Amazon. I got mine at Ulta. I will link it down below though. Okay, so let's talk about two perfumes. I was V stressed. I was stressed picking out what perfume to talk about in this video because I am a perfume whore. Let's just be real. I'm a whore for a lot of shit. I'm a whore for jewelry, clothing, comfies. I'm a whore for candles. Should I let Jordan know that he's dating a whore? Maybe it's too soon. Okay, I am obsessed, obsessed with perfume and I am so, 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 so picky about my scents. I have the most sensitive nose in the entire world. My mom has always said since I was a little girl that she dreads the day when I get pregnant just simply because she knows that I'm gonna be so overly dramatic about things that smell a certain way because I already act like I'm fully like in my first trimester. Like the smallest scent, I'm like, I'm gonna throw up, I have to leave the room. So anyways, I love perfumes so much. So let's talk about two. 
I narrowed it down to two. This was not easy for me, but I'm like, what are my subscribers gonna love? Number one, all right guys, it's expensive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it down below. It's expensive, it is a luxury item. That's for damn sure. But this right here is the Baccarat Rouge 540. This perfume has been around for so long and it just started blowing up in the last year or two. I've been wearing it for about two years, maybe a little more. It has now become like my signature scent. I had the candle, I have two bottles of this. I have like the perfume and then I had the fragrance. I had the travel size bottle. You guys, I'm, I'm obsessed. It smells like royalty. It's the perfect amount of sweet and sultry. It's like sexy and cute. You know, it's it's so good. I've never met anyone who hasn't loved this. My sister-in-law loved it so much that she was like, every time I smell you, it smells so good, I gotta get it. So she went out and she got it. Now when we hang out, I'm like confused the whole time. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I'm smelling me, but it's not me. And it smells different on her skin than it smells on me. And she sprays so much that it's very strong. And I'm like, oh. now I feel like my scent has been stolen. Gonna force me to get a new scent. I'm just kidding, I love you. <laughs> so this brand right here, just like the first one, Baccarat, has been blowing up the past year or so. It is by Mason Margiela, and the brand is called Replica. First of all, the aesthetics of this perfume is so dope. I have probably six or seven of them. Some of the scents are a total miss for me, but then others are like out of this world amazing. This right here is in the scent Coffee Break, and this is a very specific scent to this time of year, in my opinion. It is so warm. It's got like vanilla. It's not too sweet. It's just, hold on, let me get a vibe. Mm, it's giving me boss, like boss, it's just boss moves. Like, like this is made for a woman. Oh my God, yes, this is made for a woman. This is made for someone who's very confident, who knows who the f they are. This is like, I am woman, hear me roar. It is like autumn and yummy and vanilla. I have not worn this since winter of last year. And now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, yes. Oh my God, give me the good vibes. It's so good. Okay, all right, another shameless plug. Let's just talk about a few items from Jaclyn Cosmetics that are genuinely my must-haves and my go-tos, things that I give away to all my friends and family because I'm like, this is something you need no matter who you are, right? You get it. First off is my primer oil right here. Let me tell you why I love my primer oil, okay? Because it is so nourishing and so calming for the skin. And if you don't feel like doing your makeup, just putting this on your skin, it gives you the most beautiful glow in the entire world. It's so gorgeous. So this is like a must have that sits on my, not my vanity, it sits there too, but this sits in my bathroom next to my skincare because if I'm not gonna put makeup on that day, I will still like a little damn, 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 boom, boom, boom. And everyone's like, oh my God, you're glowing. And I'm like, I know, it's my, it's my primer oil. Definitely a go-to. And also, if you are using this as an actual primer under your makeup, the tiniest amount, like I'm talking, when I use it under my makeup, it's like this much. It's like, ink, ink, two drops on my fingertips, rub it together, kind of warm it up, press it into the skin and then go in with my makeup and it's just gonna hydrate the skin. It's gonna give you your foundation something to stick to. It's so beautiful. And then of course, once the entire face is on, I will take a beauty sponge and put a little bit of this on the beauty sponge and go over, cause I'm so dry, go over so slightly on my face and it's just going to add such a beautiful dew to the skin and make it not look as powdery. So there's many different ways to use it, but this time of year, it's definitely a go-to. Okay, another essential for this year. If you're gonna get anything from my brand that's like winter must have, it's the primer oil and it's this. This is my lip scrub and my lip treatment. Bitch, I can't live without this now. I have always liked lip scrub, but it's been more of a thing where I'm like, it's far and few. Like I use it every great once in a while. Now lip scrub is a staple for me. And this lip scrub smells so good. It is like a vanilla mint. I am so obsessed. It's so, it's so refreshing. And it reminds me of something from my childhood that I cannot figure out. I used to have something, maybe it was a toy that smelled like this when I was living on the farm and I cannot figure it out. So I go in, I scrub my lips morning or night. And then after that, you just go in with the lip treatment right here. The lip treatment, I use it every single night before I go to bed. It's what I'm moisturize my lips with. It's what I use in the morning after I wash my face. If I don't have on lipstick, this is what I'm using 24 seven to moisturize my lips. Let's get real. I'm dramatic because it's my product, but I probably have 20 of these floating around my house. Like it's always in an arm reach. It's just like at all times. Okay. Okay. Two more things from Jaclyn Cosmetics that I find to be an absolute essential. Number one being this right here. This is my lip lacquer trio. This is limited edition. Once it's gone, it's gone, which actually breaks my heart because ugh, as I developed this, I was like, why did I not make it permanent? And why did I not make 15 different colors? Because this is like my favorite lip formula of all time. It is like a hybrid between a liquid lip and a gloss. So it's on the thicker side, but it's not like gross and like sticky and yucky. You know what I mean? So these three shades right here, first of all, the shade cookies, if you know, you know. You guys sold it out immediately. I have not seen one negative review about the color, about the consistency. It is so beautiful. So let me just show you what it looks like right here. Let me give you a little, <laughs> the scent. <sighs> it literally smells like Christmas cookies. Let me just show you like the pigment and the swatch of these. Like 
It's just so beautiful and so glossy. It's gorgeous. The second shade right here, this is Ginger. It, oh. These are the two shades that I wear the most. Ginger is just a little bit deeper. It's got a little bit more of like a, like a brick shade to it, like a little orangey, a little red. And then Gumdrop right here is the third. I developed this with deeper skin in mind. It is, oh. it's not a cherry red. It's definitely like a more kind of burnt brick red but they are so beautiful, so creamy. They last on your lips forever. Like I said, if you know, you know. You can buy those individually. You can also buy them together as a trio. And what's so exciting is Ulta is doing like the biggest sale they've ever done for my company before. So the 28th through the 30th of this month, they're doing 30% off on every single item in my brand, which is so exciting. So if it's on Ulta.com, you'll be able to save 30% off, which is like so major and so exciting. Last but not least, I have my Rouge Romance blush palette. You guys, I'm sorry to toot my own horn, but beep beep. It is so gorgeous. These blushes are so long lasting. They're so pigmented. They have the most beautiful sheen to them. They're not shimmery, but they're not a dry chalky matte. They just apply like butter under your skin. So gorgeous. I have a warm palette and a cool palette. This one is the warm one right here. The cool one, I'm sorry, it's at my vanity. So I'm just showing you this one. But if you're a girl or boy who likes blush, I would add this to your Christmas list or get it for someone who loves makeup because this right here, it's a dream. Okay, so switching from makeup, let's talk about some body products. This is by the brand Santal and this is their body lotion. It's called the Lux Unfiltered Number 14 Conditioning Body Cream. I'll link it for you guys down below because honestly, the first time I saw someone talk about it, I was kind of confused where to buy it. So I'll figure it out for you guys and I will link it down below. But you guys, this is so nourishing and the way it smells, it's so subtle and I love that so much because I don't like body lotions that clash with my perfumes. I want my perfume to be like the star of the show. If anything, I want my body lotion to either be unscented or have like a light scent that complements. You know what I'm saying? This it is so amazing and this is crazy. I was laying down and Jordan was like rubbing my back and he had his hand like under my shirt rubbing my back and he was like, your skin is so soft. And he legit asked me if I was doing something different. He was like, are you doing something different? Your skin normally isn't this soft. And I was like, oh! I sat up and I was like, oh my God, it's my lotion. I got so excited because I've gone through two full bottles of this and he genuinely like noticed, like what guy notices that? But he did, that's how soft my skin is. I lather myself in this every single day. As soon as I get out of the shower, I get out and I just cover myself literally from here to my toes. I cover myself and it is so luxurious. Three other items that I have been in love with. I posted about this on my Insta story a couple of nights ago. This is the Sunitas Hydrating Sugar Scrub. So this is a body polish. I have used a million body polishes and I love a million different body polishes. What I love about this is the ingredients. The ingredients are so clean, they're so pure. You can literally read on the back of what it is, like sunflower oil, like it's right there, like everything. Vitamin E, I mean, it's literally, I can understand everything on this entire ingredient list, which I love because it's good for your skin. And I'm not kidding, it makes you so soft and so moisturized when you get out of the shower you do not eat lotion at all because you still have like that hydration of all those oils all over your skin oh, girl it's amazing i've used it at this point like three times in the past couple of weeks but i use this to get off my um sunless tanner more than anything and it just comes right off it's amazing and then hand in hand with that see so foot cream and hand cream i have become i, I actually kind of hate it i have become addicted to foot and hand cream i feel like my body now needs it and if i don't apply it like twice a day my fingers will literally peel like you've never seen like my hands like now desire it. It's so weird and same with my feet. So I'm always looking for a great foot cream. I'm always looking for a great hand cream. And what I love about these is not only the smell, it's the ingredients for me. And it's also the hand cream does not make my hands greasy. Like I don't want to put on a hand cream and then like jump in the car and like get my steering wheel covered in like oily hand cream. You know what I'm saying? That's more of like a nighttime vibe. I'll like slather myself up in like thick ass creams like going to sleep. But for the day, this right here, I love. It's pure. It's good ingredients. This is pharmaceutical grade skincare. It's good for you and it makes my hands and my feet feel amazing. It's so crazy that I'm actually like working with them and selling them and doing their distribution because I've been talking about them for like eight years. It's been eight years that I've been using their products. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so I have three pairs of sunglasses that I feel like every baddie basically has at this point, but if you don't have it, I am here to introduce, I'm here to help, okay? First one we've been talking about for well over a year at this point, but I'm still gonna show them. All right, these are the classic Amazon sunglasses. They come in a couple different colors. This is the ombre tortoise one that kind of goes from brown to black. This is the smaller size. They do have a bigger size, which I prefer, but I just grab these really quick out of my closet. Um, but if you have a bigger face, like I feel like I do, I prefer the bigger shape, but still 
adorable. This one right here, once again, I feel like everyone has these, but they are just so stinking cute. For me, these are not a sunglass that I'm wearing to protect myself from the sun. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit over here like this. Are you kidding me? I look like a fucking fool. This is, this is, this is chuggy. Now this is chuggy. This is definitely like an Instagrammable moment, which is fine because these are like 10 bucks. You know, it's like, ah. Uh, or if you're just like out to brunch and you got like your little Air Force Ones on and your cute little like, you know, black dress and your little denim jacket. You just kind of have them sitting on the head and it's like ugh, a vibe, you know? She's a bad bitch. I don't know why I make fun of the situation when I am that bitch. I had to check myself, I'm back. All right, last but not least, these are so big on TikTok. They are, once again, Amazon, very inexpensive, and they are definitely the hater blockers. But they're so cute, they're so lightweight, they're so comfortable, and what I love about like, Amazon glasses is if you sit on them or you lose them at the beach, you're not gonna go cry yourself to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I have spent too many tears. So I have never cried over a pair of sunglasses. But I just say, I have lost some really expensive designer sunglasses and I'm just like, then that's not the case with these. Yeah. Okay, so this is a random thing, but I feel like it's a necessary thing. These puck lights, you guys, game changer. You saw my TikTok. Well, if you didn't see my TikTok, go check out my TikTok. <laughs> I did a TikTok like with my top three things from Amazon that like set the cozy vibe in your home. I pride myself on that. I have a very cozy home. I love a cozy home. I love a cozy environment. I want people to come in. I want to be like, oh, here's some some cozy socks, you know? Here's a blanket. Oh, what do you want me to make you? A hot toddy, a cup of tea? Not a problem. What movie do you want to watch? Hit a button, set the vibe. Like that is who I am. So this is definitely like an essential thing in setting the vibe. They're just these little puck lights right here. You get them on Amazon, comes with a remote. Right here, actually comes with two remotes. It comes with these sticky things that you can put on the back. You just put them right on. They're good to go. It comes with a ton of those sticky things. And then you can put it on any surface. I will show you like a quick little clip of what I'm talking about. You can put it on your under cabinets. You can put it on the bottom, like the base of a table. You can put them anywhere. And you can turn it on with the remote or just with by pressing it. And it does like every color. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it does like every color on the RGB color wheel. Um, you got the remote right here and it's just, it's easy and it's inexpensive. And especially if you're just like, you know, maybe like living in like a small apartment and you're like, oh, I don't like this apartment. Like this isn't my vibe. You know, you're like hustling to get out of it. You can spend a couple of bucks, get those puck lights, put them around and it'll just set, set a mood. You know, you don't have to be broken and miserable. I used to be broken and miserable, but I still tried to set a mood, you know? And now there's cute things like this to help you out. Let's do kitchen. I've got some good kitchen stuff. This right here. <sighs> when I first talked about this, it sold out, it came back, it sold out again. It came back, it sold out again, three times. I was like searching for links for you guys because it just kept selling out. I'm not saying that's because of me, I'm saying it's because of you. And every single person who's bought this is like, why did I not own this? It's less than $10. It fluctuates sometimes on Amazon. It's like in between like four and $7. If you are someone who cooks, or let's say you're an 18 year old girl living at home with your mom and your dad and they cook, just getting something like this will just be like, okay, thanks so much, sweetheart. Merry Christmas to you too. But at the end of the day, a couple weeks later, they're gonna be over there chopping up their meat like, bitch, are you kidding me? They're never gonna not use this. So this is literally just something that you use to chop everything up. Instead of using a spatula to sit there and like do this for five minutes straight, if you're chopping up turkey or ground beef or pork or whatever it is, you just use this. Literally, you just boom and you're done. It's the easiest thing. I love it when I'm like upstairs and I can just hear this sound. I know it means Jordan's cooking and I'm like, blessings. I'm telling you, it's inexpensive and anyone who cooks will appreciate this. Next, talking about anyone who cooks will appreciate. If you guys have not heard of Flavor God seasonings, your life is gonna be changed. I know they're so popular and they've been popular for years. I know they're really, really big in the fitness world. Like tons of people are endorsed by Fitness God because of the fact that it's like the back of them, it's like zero everything, like zero fat, zero this, zero, zero, zero. There's no sugars, there's nothing. It's literally just seasoning and flavor, but it's like 15 different seasonings put into one. And they are so good, they're so good. Everything spicy, hot wings, Cajun lovers, this right here, bomb when it comes to our seafood boil. Garlic lovers, this on pizza, dipped in ranch, say less. Buffalo seasoning, everything, which by the way, when they say everything, they mean everything. This is literally good on anything. Soups, chickens, it doesn't matter. It's literally just like every seasoning in the world and it's amazing. And then last but not least, lemon and garlic. They also have sweet ones. Like they have ones you can put on popcorn, ones you can put on French toast, like tons of different varieties, but you guys, they are so good and they are so packed with flavor. So if you're someone who's trying to like live a healthier lifestyle and like make good choices and you're just like sick of bland food, which I hate that life, I don't agree with it. But if that's where you're at and you're just doing like chicken and vegetables, you can take those and just like put it on for zero calories, zero, 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 zero sugar. And it's so flavorful and it just makes your food experience so much better and they're not expensive. You can also get them in packs and they're really big. So they last a really long time. Another kitchen thing is this cookbook right here. Oh my gosh. Mi corazón. 
It's called The Defined Dish. And after I talked about this on my Insta story like two months ago, the woman who wrote this book actually reached out to me and she's such an absolute sweetheart. So you can see we have all like our little yellow post-it tabs in the book. And for the most part, it's an extremely healthy cookbook. It is Whole30 endorsed. So that tells you right there for the most part, it's gonna be all healthy, but just like they have everything, salads, chickens, the lemon piccata recipe in this is out of this world. If you or someone in your life likes to cook, this right here is so amazing and the way it's broken down it's not difficult to follow. Like I can be in the kitchen and read all this off to Jordan and be his little sous chef. And it's super, super easy for me to follow. It's even easier for him to follow. And this personally is my favorite cookbook that I have come across. I love cookbooks. I probably have 15 to 20 of them. This is my favorite. So much flavor, so many meals and easy to read. Okay, last kitchen gadget. This is so random. You're gonna be like, what the hell? Anytime I show my kitchen, like on my Insta stories, I, ah! I always get questions about this. And now like everyone in my family, they're buying it because they love it so much. So this is literally just a knife block and it's just this black and silver magnetic knife block. I will insert a picture of what it looks like right here when it's all set up. Every single knife literally just magnets to it. Definitely not kid safe. My God, again, don't come for me, all right? If you if you have someone who walks up and just grabs that shit, do not come for me. I'm covering my ass right now. Great, moving on. But it just looks so sleek and it looks so like chef, you know? It just looks like, bitch, I know what I'm doing. Look at my knives, you know? It's just cute, it's sexy. I'm actually getting this for a lot of people for Christmas. I hope they're not watching. Actually, I know they're watching. Sorry guys, but I'm getting this for a lot of you guys. It's not expensive. It's by the brand Material, I believe it's called. Yeah, Material. I will link it down below for you. Of course, it looks cool. It's sleek, it looks trendy, it looks sexy, it looks it just looks like you know what you're doing in the kitchen. And I don't, so I appreciate the help. <laughs> okay, so I have a ton of like cozy, comfy stuff, jackets, robes, blankets, a very inexpensive blanket that I will add that I have fallen in love with. But first, my last plug. I just wanna take this time seriously to say thank you so much, genuinely. I know that I'm kinda all over the place with this video, but genuinely, I wanna take a deep breath. <sighs> And for the first time here on YouTube, I really want to say thank you so much for the love that you guys have shown for my new jewelry line, Jacqueline Roxanne. I was not expecting that traffic. I was not expecting the amount of sales. I just was not expecting that kind of success for a new brand. That was my first time stepping outside of something on my own in my entire career. That was also my first time dabbling in something that's not cosmetics or like you know, hair accessories or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just a very emotional experience for me. The website did go down, it did crash. We actually are in the process right now of changing servers to give you guys like an extremely better experience. But it's just, I can't believe it. I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful. And seeing all of you guys get your pieces and just loving them is making my heart just do dances. So I just wanna say thank you. It never goes unnoticed, you are amazing. With that being said, I do just want to show you like a few things, a few like staple items that I feel like from my brand, from Jack and Roxanne are just like the moment for the holiday season. Okay. So first off right here, this is the Royal Link. I cannot believe how many of you guys bought this. I was not expecting that because it is $165. Okay. Like it's the most expensive price point that I have on my website by far. And every other link is all pave. So it's like so sparkly and blingy. Genuinely, I'm not kidding. When I hold this next to my real diamond chains, I'm like shook. I'm like, well, damn, it's shocking. So super beautiful and very appropriate for the holidays. I wanted to wear it today. When I put it on, I was like, now I really look like the rock. It was not a good situation. What I love about it is it's so easy to stack with something else. Like to have like this right here, I'm wearing the Saint pendant. To have that like stacked with it, it's just so pretty. <sighs> vibes. Okay. This one right here next to the cross has been my number one seller on my website. This is the solitaire right here. And I know what people love about it the most is you can literally adjust it to be any length you want. You can have it. Let me actually just pull it out. Okay. So because it is a paper clip chain, you can literally like, you can keep it long hanging down there. You can bring it all the way up as a choker if you want. Like you can make it any length because of the chain. I know it's what people love about it so much and it's just so fun. It's so trendy. And that little diamond is so sparkly on the end. Um, and we still are in stock. This We actually order like the most of that and the cross necklace. Cause I thought, I'm like, these two are gonna be like the moment. Thank God I was right. And we have so much inventory of it. We are sold out of the cross in um, gold, but we still have it in rhodium. Okay, so then I have two earrings right here that I feel like these are just like the holiday moment. For instance, like not everybody is gonna wanna wear these right here. Like I'm wearing the everyday hoops and like these are some chunky hoops, you know, and it's not gonna be like your grandma style. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe it would be, it would be my style if I was a grandma. But anyways, these right here I picked out because these are definitely like the vibe. If I was gonna like do a giveaway and I had no clue who's gonna receive my earrings, I would pick out these two right here because they're so simple, they're so elegant, they're so pretty and they'll look good on so many different faces. Of course, skin tones and face shapes, which is super important. This one right here is called the perfect mini and what I love about 
about it is the fact that it has diamonds, not real diamonds, obviously, <laughs> cubic zirconians that are literally wrapped inside and outside. So like any angle that you turn, you see that bling and it's just so pretty and that's so important to me because it just adds like a little extra like, huh. And then the crescent moon minis right here, which are just so pretty. It literally looks like a crescent moon. It's like nice and fat and chunky. So it's kind of a statement piece, but it's still subtle. And the entire thing is covered in bling. Inside, outside, corners, everything. The entire thing is just blinged out. So these two, I feel like are the most elegant and like common and like the majority of people would enjoy these other than like, you know, statement pieces. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? All right, you got it. All right, you guys, we're moving on to the last category. Our comfy cozies, our clothes, our pants. Oh, I love this category. Okay, I'm gonna save the best for last, meaning like the most exciting piece for the most inexpensive price. I'm gonna save that for last. I'm gonna make you wait. So let's start off here. Okay, these are by Skims. I can't even begin to tell you how comfortable these pants are, all right? So they've got like an elastic waist. They're so stretchy, like Santa Claus could fit into these, all right? They go from like a size like medium to like XXL real quick, and that's amazing because a bitch likes to eat. I will be wearing these on Thanksgiving. So it's got a drawstring, and then at the very bottom, it's got a little bit of a cinching on the ankle, not much, which I appreciate. I can't stand it when cozy pants are like tight on my ankle. I'm like, all right, and now I'm claustrophobic and I'm sweaty, so there's that. These right here are like that barefoot dreams fabric, like that soft, cozy fabric. I've had these now for several months. I've actually talked about them before on YouTube and also on my Instagram. They are a dream. They are so soft, it's ridiculous. These are definitely made for someone in a colder climate. Like if I try to put these on here in Florida when it's warm out, I'm gonna be sweating. So if you're someone, if you're in the snow, if you're in the cold climate right now, this right here, these pants, they come in a ton of different colors, a ton of different sizes. They will keep you so warm and so soft. This is a winter staple for everybody, in my opinion. Next, we have a puffer jacket. All right, puffer jackets are so in right now. They're so hot right now. They have been every winter for the past couple of years. This one right here is from Abercrombie. So I have puffer jackets from Givenchy down to Abercrombie. You know what I'm saying? Like all different brands. This one right here is so amazing. I'm obviously sitting down, so I won't be able to like fully show you the vibe, but I'll still like kind of give it to you a little bit. I literally feel like a marshmallow in the best way possible. So it's super cute. It's got these buttons, which definitely make it like a little edgy and it literally feels like a pillow. Like you could take this on the airplane and double it as a pillow. It is so comfortable. And then the best part, in my opinion, right here at the waist, it has these drawstrings so you can tighten it and loosen it at the waist. So if you wanna like tighten it and kind of bring it up on the body and make it more of like a crop moment, you can. You can loosen it and let yourself air out. I love that because it gives the body shape. Because if I just wear this, without having that cinch, I just look like a box. I'm like, okay, and like, that's not what I'm trying to have my body look like right now. So being able to cinch it in around the waist a little bit, kind of like show the curvature of the booty, that's what we're looking for. That's why I think that this one is so special, especially for being Abercrombie. They have a ton of different puffers, by the way. I've ordered like every single one of them. I'm not kidding, every single one of them. That's the best one. I will link it for you guys down below. Just trust me, it's the best. This Barefoot Dreams robe. I just got this maybe a month ago. I'm obsessed because I've never experienced a Barefoot Dreams robe like this before. And the reason why I say that, first of all, it's so cute. It's got like different shades of gray and then it's all white. What I love about this is not only is it, of course, like the softest fabric known to humankind, but it's so lightweight, which is amazing for people like me who are living in Florida and it's still hot as balls right now. I can put this on and wear this around the house and it's just so cozy and just like drapes on the body, but it's light. It's not like, oh, I'm sweating. It's not like you're wearing a blanket all the time, which is why I love this so much. And I feel like it's like very special compared to other Barefoot Dreams robes that I do own. So again, I'll find this exact one and I will link it for you. Jordan literally requested that I put this in the video. So I bought this for Jordan for Halloween because our costumes were sick and tired because we didn't have anything to wear. And I was like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of everything. And we're like, let's go sick and tired. I bought him this robe from Nordstrom. I think right now is probably the first time that he's taken it off since I bought it for him in October because I'm filming and I'm using it. He has literally lived in this robe. His friends laugh at him so hard because they come over and it's like middle of the afternoon and he's just cooking in his bathrobe. He's obsessed and he's like, babe, every single guy in the entire world needs a bathrobe. You've got to tell your followers. No guy is going to regret this. Like he's like pushing this robe. You would think he's like getting paid to sell it because he's like telling all of his friends how much they need a bathrobe. I will say this one is so fluffy and so soft. It's kind of like a Barefoot Dreams moment, but a lot cheaper. It's so comfortable. And I actually kind of like it because he sits on the couch and he's like all cozy and I'm like, yay. But yeah, no, it's bomb. So get your man robe. He might be like, what is this? Put it on him. <laughs> he won't take it off. If you say anything like Jordan, he won't take it off. Next thing you know, he'll have a pipe in his hand. He'll be like Hugh Hefnering it. Let's hope not. All right, you guys, this is the last thing for the entire winter must-haves holiday gift guide moment. It is this 
Amazon blanket right here. It is supposed to be a Barefoot Dreams dupe. I would not say it's a dupe in the sense of Barefoot Dreams, most of their blankets are way thicker, but this is so soft. It is so cozy. It's also very lightweight, but still keeps you warm. I love the color of it. And also it's so inexpensive. A Barefoot Dreams blanket can go all the way up to like $200. I believe this one is like 25. So, so, so cute. And who is going to regret getting a blanket? For me, I'm like, give me a cozy blanket and a candle. I'm like, yay! It doesn't matter. I'm happy, you know? All right, you guys, that is it for this entire video. I feel like I went through a lot of products pretty quickly. I honestly feel like I need to like go get like a breathing machine and like just take some deep breaths because I've been talking so fast for the past hour. Hopefully you got some ideas for things maybe you want to buy for yourself put on your Christmas list or get for your friends and family. That's what I'm here for. I worked really hard on picking all this out. I even got like input from my friends and my family. I'm like, is this something that you would really want? You know, I take this shit really seriously, to be honest. But yeah, that's it. Please, as always, anything that I didn't talk about in this video that you feel like is a must have, something that you would buy for your friends or your family or something that you want that you feel like is an essential, please leave it in the comment section down below. I will be in the comments. I'll be responding back. Also tweet me. I can retweet your tweets if it's like, yes, this is something that I forgot, something that is necessary. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and that's it. I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and happy holidays. Bye guys. Hey guys, and welcome back. No, I did it again. Am I centered? No. What's going on, bitch? No, not that either. Hey guys, you... I really don't know where to start. This is kind of stressful. Ah. Um, um, well, great. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. I'm into you. Da -da 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 -da. Jacqueline, you need to calm down. Piper picked a pepper, Peter Piper picked a